A judge in Georgia heard arguments over whether former President Donald Trump's speech was protected by his First Amendment rights. The hearing is part of former president, the former president's election interference case. Trump's lawyers argued that the charges against him are an effort to criminalize, they say, political speech. I'm suggesting the reason it's right now and the reason why we don't even get to a trial is because it's unconstitutional to force an accused be it the president of the United States, former president, or anyone else, to stand trial on protected speech. CBS News campaign reporter and attorney Katrina Kaufman is here with me in Studio 57. Katrina, uh, talk to us about Trump's lawyers and their argument for why they believe that this case should be thrown out. So as you were just hearing, they say that this indictment should be dismissed based on the fact that they claim Every single act that Trump was charged with in this case implicates speech that's protected by the First Amendment. They say it's core political speech and expressive acts. And in fact, they said if you take out the political speech, there are no criminal charges left in this case. How valid is that argument, though? Because um, th we're talking about Georgia. We're talking about that famous phone call where he said, find me the votes. Is that political speech? I mean, as Judge McAfee even pointed out today, he said sometimes crimes can be committed only through speech. So just because speech is involved in an act doesn't mean that it's protected by the First Amendment. There's often speech that's involved in the furtherance of a crime. The DA's office pointed out that this issue has already also been assessed in the D.C. election interference trial, which is currently on hold. And the judge in that case said... The First Amendment doesn't protect speech that's used as an instrument of a crime. Um, and Judge McAfee has also dismissed the same argument for two other co-defendants previously. Yeah, there are, there are lots of examples in which speech is not necessarily uniformly protected. Um, but, but this was also interesting because this was the first time that we were seeing court proceedings take place since the sideshow yes. of, of um, Fonnie Willis and... Judge McAfee deciding that she would be allowed to continue um, as the, the lead prosecutor in that case. I understand, though, that the defendants, including the former president, plan to appeal. So what's next with that? Yeah, so this is significant. The underlying case here is finally moving forward, this election interference trial. And Trump and other co-defendants are appealing the disqualification decision that allows Bonnie Willis to continue pursuing this case. But the judge has said that the case is going to continue while that's going on. The Georgia Court of Appeals has 45 days to decide if they want to take up the case. And they could decide to put a stay on the trial. But for now, it's going to keep moving forward. And... Bonnie Willis has said that she still wants to aim for the August trial date that she has always asked for. It looks like she'll now be competing for other trials, potentially, if she wants to go ahead this summer. But this case is going to proceed for now. All right. Katrina Kaufman, thank you. Thank you.